Hey friends, John Sawash back with you. Today I want to share a really easy but very, very helpful trick to organize your bookmarks. Now bookmarks are an awesome way to save web pages that you frequently visit. I bookmark uh, a whole bunch of pages, but there is a problem. The bookmarks bar is very small. You only have room for a certain number of bookmarks on your bookmarks bar and then they like fall off the side. I'm gonna show you a trick that will allow you to double or more the amount of space for your bookmarks. Let's check it out. So here I've got a, a clean um, bookmarks bar. So right here, this is where bookmarks normally go. There's nothing on there. Um, now the first thing I just wanna make sure, I want you to make sure that your bookmarks bar is on. Bookmarks should appear right below the search bar or the Omni box, that's right here. Um, and if you don't see it, you may have to click on the snowman and then down to bookmarks and then just make sure that that's checked. Show bookmarks bar. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, control shift B. We'll turn it on, turn it off. So let's go ahead and bookmark some pages, easy enough. So I'm a teacher. Um, I use PowerSchool for grading. So I'm gonna go ahead and bookmark um, PowerSchool. And I'm gonna use plan book for my lesson plans. And here's my staff uh, web portal for my school. And then this is my Google Classroom I'm gonna bookmark. Now I'm gonna do some personal uh, sites as well. So this is my bank. If I wanna log in and do some banking, I'll bookmark that. Um, this is my uh, doctor. So when I'm scheduling and um, arranging appointments for myself and my kids, I go here. I'll do that. And then we'll do some like curricular uh, things. My favorite website for using Chromebooks. Absolutely want to bookmark that one. Um, then we got ABC, uh, a classic, a lot of good learning games there. We'll do Khan Academy, another good one. And before you know it, you're out of space. So that last one, Khan Academy, didn't even fit. It fell off the edge. And that's what's going to happen from here on out. All my bookmarks are going to be in this kind of folder off to the side, which is not very convenient to go and search, uh, search through, sort through. This is why you need my special bookmarks trick. It's very easy and it'll double the amount of space that you have. Let's go back to our very first bookmark way over here. So power school. A bookmark uh, really comp is comprised of uh, two things. The favicon, which is the icon for that website. So in this case, you can see the power school logo and then the description for the website itself. So the web developer, whoever created the website, will put in the description and that's what's there. Now the description for the website is not usually meant for humans, it's meant for search engines. It's a SEO uh, trick to put your keywords into your uh, web page title, which leads to really long web page titles that take up a lot of space. And this is what we're gonna fix. So I'm gonna right click, two finger click on the PowerSchool bookmark and I'm gonna go down to edit. Now you can see all of those things. We do not need that full description at all. In fact, we can recognize the PowerSchool logo. So we are gonna actually delete the entire description. Where it says name, I'm just gonna delete the whole thing, eliminate it entirely, and click save. Now, you'll notice that our bookmark is much smaller. It's just the logo, the favicon and nothing else. Let's go to the next one. Let's do plan book. Plan book also has a very recognizable logo. We're going to delete this description and leave it there. Here's uh, my staff web portal. Same thing. Google Classroom. Same thing. So we're going to continue doing this for all of these bookmarks. Just click edit, delete the description or the name. There's my doctor. Here's the Chromebook Classroom website. ABC, uh, delete that. One more, Khan Academy, delete that. And oh, look at that. By deleting the description for the website, we took our 10 or so bookmarks, which took up the entire bookmarks bar, and we have now squashed them down to take up 
what, 10% of the bookmarks bar, leaving more room for even more websites uh, that you can add. So it's a really simple, really easy trick, but it expands your bookmark real estate tremendously, allowing you to access more sites um, right from the bookmarks bar. So that's a little trick, pretty easy, straightforward. Now that we have all this extra space on our bookmarks bar, let me give you a couple of suggestions, a couple of tips for um, managing your bookmarks. Now, I am a big user of Google Classroom, and uh, I have a couple of classes. So here's my art class, and I might want to bookmark this one as well, and we'll do the same thing. But now we're going to have a bit of a problem because the Google Classroom sites all use the same favicon. So you're just gonna end up with two, three, four little Google Classroom logos and I'm never gonna remember which one is the purple, which one is the black icon. It's not gonna happen. So what I do for websites that have the same favicon, so if you bookmark a bunch of YouTube videos, um, if you bookmark uh, several web uh, pages from your school's website, they're all gonna have the same favicon. I just add a folder, so I'm gonna right click on the bookmark bar, I'm gonna to go to add folder, and I'm gonna call mine Google Classroom. Now I can place those Google Classroom bookmarks into that folder, and I'm gonna add in a name. So the PERP one is fifth grade art, so I'll give that a description. The darker one, the black one, is my fifth grade regular class class. I'll call this 2020. Save that as well. And so now I'll be able to see all of those bookmarks in that folder. Again, they take up very little space, and I'll have all of them listed. So I do the folder trick for webs, uh, bookmarks from the same website, so I can tell them apart, and I'll add in that description. Let me give you a couple other tips before I uh, leave you. Um, let's go to Google Drive. So Drive is a great source of uh, resources and frustration. <laughs> Everybody complains about being able to find things in Google Drive. I'm gonna take a look at some of my most frequently accessed Google Drive files. Um, for example, um, there's a parent contact log that I use all the time. It's a Google form, and every time I talk with a parent, um, I have to fill that out to note if it was a phone conversation, face-to-face -face conversation, conference, etc. Uh, so rather than having to go into Google Drive and find that every single time, I'm just going to bookmark that. Um, Google Forms all have the same logo, and so that's very easy for me to see. I could even add a very short description. I could just say contact log if I want to um, and leave it at that. So bookmarking some of your most frequently used Google documents is a great way to improve your um, efficiency. So here's uh, my lesson planning template. I'm gonna put that up there. I'll say lesson plan. Put that up there in my bookmarks bar. Um, so all of those Google Drive files that you use on a regular basis bookmark them for easy access. One more thing, um, depending on how much time you spend on a Chromebook, um, there's a lot of occasion you go into settings to adjust things. You can actually bookmark the settings page. So um, if you just visit, I'm gonna click on the snowman, I'm gonna go to settings. This page here, Chrome colon backslash settings, I can bookmark that and it has a little gear icon which is super uh, useful. Another place that I go fairly regularly is my extensions page. So if I need to approve, um, delete, um, configure one of my extensions, it's a lot of clicks to get here, but I can bookmark this page as well. It has its own favicon as well, a little puzzle piece um, for, uh, for easy access. So those are just a few different pages that you can bookmark, save some space on your bookmarks bar for all uh, the websites and uh, resources. Hopefully this has been a helpful productivity tip. Enjoy adding all those bookmarks.